It's echoing from generation past, seeking your critical support. I am an indigenous youth leader representing the Hwain royal family, the indigenous people of Beni Masibodi, near Kumasi, Ghana. In 2023, I fled my homeland not as a criminal, but as a man seeking refuge under the United Nations Convention Against Torture. My crime, defending the land entrusted to me by my ancestors, the very land that cradles the final resting place of our revered maternal ancestor. This is a story of not just my struggle, but the struggle faced by countless indigenous people around the world. I'm a seventh generational descendant of Kenosei Titu the First, the founder of the Ashanti Empire of the Asian Gold Coast, present day Ghana, a living testament to the Hwain royal family. Our community was acquired in the 16th century through a gift granted by the king to her revered spouse. In recent times, my people are faced with relentless intimidation, harassment, criminalization, and violence for defending our birthright. What triggered my escape was a threat uttered by the Otun Force to the second on 18th November 2021 in the palace. I quote, I have canceled your family name from enjoying right of inheritance to the lands. Anyone who disobeys me shall face my wrath, unquote. Despite promising reforms made by the Ghanaian government to strengthen land tenure security, the Kumasi Council, traditional council, actions continuously undermines the rule of law. They are claimed to absolute control over all the Ashanti region lands and immunity from judicial review violates the provisions of Land Act 2020 and the PNDC Law 114 meant to hold customary land managers accountable for resource exploitation. The council's interference in the justice system undermines our lodial ownership rights. In the case of C-165-2020, despite a favorable judgment, a court of coordinate jurisdiction overturned it, even though the original court had already completed its duties. This is a gross violation of Article 39 of the UNDRIP. The lack of political will from the government of Ghana to hold fiduciaries accountable further exacerbates the situation. This is evident in my own human rights action, suit number HR 0026 through 2022, Nanakwisi Osei Bonsu versus the Ghana Police Service and Attorney General's Department where I was detained and tortured in police custody for six days solely for defending my indigenous right, pursuant to Article 8 of the United Nations Declaration on Rights of Indigenous People. Recommendations. Justice alone cannot heal these wounds. We seek the collaboration of UN agencies, philanthropists, and the mainstream media to support us in championing the mission of land right defenders. We call on the international community. Thanks.